What's going on? Shout out to the LDBC. This your boy CJ Goodfella back with the Boxing Clinic. One time for the one time. Afternoon grind, man. Talking about Andre Ward. You know, we talked about, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, him versus Tony Bellew. You know, a lot of people talking about that fight now that Eddie Hearn say, um, you know, Andre Ward inquired about fighting Tony Bellew. Been talking about it. Um, You know, everybody a few steps behind. That's why you should follow the Boxing Clinic. Um, We did the Tony Bellew, Andre Ward, POV. Um... So go check it out in the archives. But I think Andre Ward's making another big mistake in a long, long line of Andre Ward business and boxing mistakes within this sport, man. I think it's another mistake. Why why go to Cruiserweight? Why? You know? Especially if you if you attend attend you know, if you intend to stay there and compete, um, which is another big mistake, uh, again. And I speak about why that is. You know, I don't get it. You know, if he wants to come, go to Cruiserweight and come back down, um, still think that's a mistake. I, I think Cruiserweight has nothing to offer him. I know some guys in, in the boxing group was telling me that Tony Bell, you brings a lot of money in the UK. You know, all money ain't good money. Um, Andre Warrior was a guy who, you know, swerving down that he'd never go to the UK. Um, told his stable mate Brandon Gonzalez, don't go over there and fight James DeGill. Got his ass knocked out. He ain't been back since the ring since. So I don't understand why that fight would go down in the UK. Um, you know, if he wants to get another weight class, but you know, it's too fast, man. Too fast. You know, I don't understand that he had a hiccup in his career three years, you know, on and off some shit like that. You know, went to sixty eight. You know, he fought you know, about three or four times, you know, at, at seventy five, but you know, maybe he feel like he accomplished everything at light heavyweight that he thought he could, just beating Sergey Kovalev. You know, I'm in the you know, probably in the minority that thinks he needs to, you know, compromise and, and, and negotiate with Donna Stevenson and make that fight happen. I think, you know, Orr hasn't had two crossover fights, you know, ever. You know, even if you go to Super 6, I don't think he had two fights of the magnitude of Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson, you know, back-to-back, even though it was three, two fights with Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson. Um, I think he should compromise and go to the negotiation table. I know he he likes to think that he's the A-side, and, you know, he really did, you know, fuck Kovalev out a lot of money with this deal. And he's not going to fuck Al, Al Hammond fighter and Adonis Stevenson, you know, who's making 2.52 million, 1.5, fight mediocre, mid level guys. You know, he's not going to trick, you know, Adonis Stevenson. And I don't think he wants to negotiate with with Adonis Stevenson either because he knows he's not going to be able to get a king ransom like he did with Kovalev twice. Kovalev only made 2 million hard, you know, the first time, and he might even make a million for the rematch. So, you know, Al Hammond's not going to let Adonis Stevenson get played for one of the toughest fights of his career. Adonis did call him out. That's the fight that he should be trying to make. Um, later this year or at the top of next year, whenever he decides he wants to come back, but um, you know, you know, basking in your basking in your glory right now is not an option for Andre Ward. You missed three years, damn near, um, of your prime. You need to be getting back in there with top guys like Adonis Stevenson. Now, it's truly, if you think you can beat that man, you know, fuck Tony Bell. You Adonis Stevenson already did that, been there, done it, and knocked him out. You know, I understand going to Cruiserweight. You go to Cruiserweight and compete. You know. You know, I I, I could see, I, I I feel you, but it's another dumb fucking decision for the simple fact that's a a European dominant division, you know, historically. So for a guy that doesn't like to go to Europe, you know, said he would never go to Europe or, or wouldn't entertain it, especially that show about in the Super Six. If you don't believe me, um, he didn't travel in the Super Six. Being a challenger, challenge Miguel Mikhail Kessler. Um, Kessler came over to Oakland Oracle Arena and fought him. So that just shows you right there what type of clout and pull that he does have. But going to going to Cruiserweight is a mistake, man. They about to have a Super 8 series with Richard Schaefer. You want to join that and go through another period like that and then retire, I feel you. But Cruiserweight from 1 to 10 is very, very tough, very, very dominant. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, space in between those guys when you're talking about talent level. They're all in the thick. 10 through 1, 1 through 10 are all tough. You know, you want to go down, fight Tony Bell, you, you know, get a title from him. And then if you want to retire, I feel you, that's the right move to fight Tony. But if not, you want to stay there and compete and continue to boxing, um, that's not the division for you because you're going to get your ass whipped in that division. I understand you're good, but your power isn't even great at light heavyweight. You're moving up 10, 20 more pounds, uh, 20, 20 plus more pounds. I mean, you're not going to be effective, man. You know, stay at light heavyweight, you know, put, fight it down to Stevenson, dominate those guys, you know, and then potentially move it to the cruiserweight to catch a title. But um, ride your wave right now, man. Get two back-to-back good fights. I don't give him credit for beating Tony Bellew at Cruiserweight, really. Who the fuck is Tony Bellew? Who the fuck did he beat? Ooh, he beat David Hay on one leg. You no, know, fight it down to Stevenson and compromise and, 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 and capitalize on this wave you got. But if not, man, long line of disastrous decisions. We gone.